Hey, it's Mel and today I'm doing my July wrap up and August TBR. Even though I did a readathon, I didn't finish as many books as I would have liked to, but I did finish quite a few books. So the first book that I read in January was actually a graphic novel and that was Rat Queens Volume 2. If you don't know, I really love Rat Queens. It's this series of graphic novels focusing on these four girls in this fantasy setting and they like team up to take down bad guys and it's very intense and very funny and there's a lot of swearing it's just great the next book that i finished was so good and that was dreams of gods and monsters by Lainey taylor the third book in the daughter of smoke and bone trilogy this trilogy is one of my favorite series of all time it's like in the top three it's just amazing it's fantasy, it's about this girl who's an art student in Prague and half the time she does that, the other half of the time she serves this chimera guy that's all half boar or whatever and she collects teeth for him all around the world and she's grown up in this one room and she has tattoos on her hands since as long as she can remember so she really wants to find out who she is because obviously she has to be someone and then she does and then basically the apocalypse happens because there are these angels and there are these demons and there's this war going on and it's all hectic but it's beautifully written and it's just so good this was a lovely ending to a really great series. The next book that I finished I struggled with kind of a lot because I really didn't like the characters so even though it was in a readathon I still had to finish it in three days which isn't great and that was Carol by Patricia Highsmith. I just really don't like these characters. I mean overall it was kind of good I guess. It was a bit too cutesy for like an adult relationship but it is like the first book that was kind of written about women being in a relationship where one of them doesn't die and the other one's like oh it was a phase so that's good but it wasn't good though I saw the movie it wasn't great and the fourth book that I finished last month I actually really liked even though some people like really don't like it and that was Captive Prince by C.S. Paquette. I really like this book and I'm excited to continue on with the series and get involved with the fandom because I thought it was really nice. It was cool and it had plot twists that like I didn't see coming. Like it made me gasp out loud at some of the things that happened. Like someone would mention something and I was like everything makes sense now. What is this? So it was fun. I liked it better than Carol but that's probably not what most people would think. It's basically about this prince who's sent to this other place that's totally not Greece and he's given to like another prince as a gift and then that prince is all like well I don't want your gift so he beats him up a couple times and then the main guy's like wow this society is like really messed up and then the other guy's like well you can try and run away but you will fail and then he's protecting him and eventually there's a romance but not in the first book because they kind of hate each other and the next book that I finished I liked and disliked at the same time because that was All of the Above by James Dawson basically this is about a girl who thinks she's in love with a guy and has a relationship with a guy and then the guy's all like hmm I'm not going to go to the certain event that's really important to all of our friends so I don't know and then they broke up and then she's all like but maybe girls ooh interesting basically I really hated the main character even though this book had like racial diversity and eating disorders and sexualities and stuff it's just, it's just no because the main character goes like oh Oh my god, does that make me sound autistic? And I was like, okay, you need to hold up. This is a grown white man pretending to be like a biracial teenage girl and making jabs about mental health and stuff all the time. She also gets really angry when her friends don't tell her that uh, 
her friend had a crush on her why would you want to know that in the first place also she got like so angry when she was all like you didn't tell me that our friend has an eating disorder how could you i thought we were friends like what is wrong with her like i should like it because of the romance at the end and like the characters and stuff but i don't because of the main character and the book that i read after that was city of lies which is a collection of eight stories about eight different people who are living or in this city of Tehran, which is in Iran, I think, and it's based on interviews that this author did with all of these different people, so some of them are based on like one person, some of them are based on lots of people, and it's very interesting, and you get a lot of politics, but also very like personal stories about what people have been through in that part of the world, and there's a lot of things about wearing headscarves and different government things that happened basically education through storytelling which i think is really nice and it was cool and not like anything i've ever read before the second to last book that i finished last month was foes your girl by meredith russo this is just a story about a trans girl who is in southern america which isn't the greatest place to be also there's this complicated thing with her families and she used to get beat up a lot and she has like a scar on her face and she moves to this new place and she's with all of these girls having a good time and then there's a boy and and the last book that i finished last month was the diviners by little bray this massive book this is set in the 20s during the prohibition in new york in america and follows a couple characters who have magical powers and there's also this killer on the loose who's like doing some bad things and it's the first book in the series and i really want to get the second one so those were the eighth slash seven in a graphic novel books that i read last month now onto the very ambitious list of books that I want to read this month. The first of those being Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling and two other people. This is a play if you didn't know. It's the eighth story but it's not the eighth story because complicated reasons. Basically this picks up directly where the last Harry Potter book left off. Like this the first like four pages are directly from the book and i'm really 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 hesitant because i just really don't want there to be romances between the children because that would just ruin everything i liked it that you could assume all of these things about the children and we didn't know the truth because that was kind of nice but now everything's probably going to go wrong and i've seen people call it a train wreck and my mom's read it and she just said it was okay so i don't know how to feel but the book that i'm probably going to read after i read harry potter and the cursed child is going to be six of crows by lee bardugo i'm actually quite a bit into this but because of harry potter i'm going to read harry potter this is quite a big book it's basically like suicide squad but with magic because reasons it's set in the grisha universe thing that Lee Bardugo has written quite a few books in which is what the Grisha trilogy is set in like it's the same magic and stuff basically a part of the government is hiring this criminal and his gang of criminals to steal something from another part of the government I think because magic and then I'm going to be reading Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer by Eric Ryden. this is signed which I am over the moon about but I've had it for a very long time and haven't read it. I only read the Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus and the Trials of Apollo because of Nico. so I really don't think there's actually a reason to read this other than the fact that I own it. After that I plan on getting to An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Everyone loves it, the sequel comes out very soon and it's fantasy I think 
I really don't know. And then I'm going to try and get to Guardian by Alex London. This is the sequel to Proxy. I read Proxy so long ago that I barely remember the plot. I think it was about this guy that crashed his car and it may have been the government crashing his car because dystopia and he killed the person in the car and because he's rich a poor little black child has to suffer and take the consequences of his actions which would mean that that kid is gonna get killed but also he has a weird birthmark that's coding and they kiss once and I don't know but yup I really don't like dystopian like at all though Let's see how this goes, probably terribly. And then I have Beauty Queens by Liver Berry because I've also had this for absolutely forever as I have most of the books that I own. And I just really think that the summer is a good time to read a book about loads of beauty queens stranded on a desert island. And the last book sort of that I want to read is The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. This is the sequel to The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon and that series is apparently gonna be like seven books and I am not prepared but this is the only other book that's out right now and I really like the first one and after that or along with them I have a lot of graphic novels to read because I just keep buying them and not reading them so I have six graphic novels that I own that I have not read or I've read like half of so I'm gonna try and get through as many of them as I can. And those are Where's the Warmest Colour, which is about French lesbians because reasons. I watched the movie, I didn't like it, like at all. Like I felt nothing for the characters. The Wicked and the Divine, which is a really cool thing about gods being put in 17 year old people's bodies and then they only live for two years and then they die. And Lucifer's one of the characters and she's called Lucy and it's made by the same people or drawn by the same people that did The Young Avengers which is one of my favourite superhero things ever because it's amazing. This just looks really cool. Rick and Morty Volume 2 because Rick and Morty's a series on Adult Swim that's about this grandpa and his grandson and they go through portals to weird dimensions and worlds and it's just like really weird but in a really cool way. And they did an entire episode just going like, time travel can't happen and this is why. Ms. Marvel No Normal because I've had this like since it came out which was a very long time ago and I really need to read it but I haven't. Lumberjanes which I have no idea what's it about, it's probably like a camp and there's some queer girls I think. So I bought this and now I have to read it. And finally Rat Queens Volume 3. Which basically brings us in a massive circle of rat queens. So these are all the graphic novels that I have to read and I'm probably gonna read like two of them. So those are all of the books that I read and plan to read very ambitiously last month and this month. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!